YouTube, it's Thea, and this is going to be my January TBR. So, for January, I didn't really know what I wanted to start the year off with. I feel like uh, the last few months of 2018 was kind of a weird reading month, um, and I'm getting over being sick, so I just haven't really been in the mindset for... Uh, knowing what I wanted to read. I do have a couple books that are on my top priority. So um, I chose a pretty light TBR for January just because I think I want to play catch up um, on some things and I'm going to be participating in round two of Buzzwordathon, which is a readathon hosted by um, Kayla or Lala from Books and Lala and I have a separate TBR for that and I have a lot of books for that I want to read so I think my primary focus is going to be just focusing on Buzzwordathon and so, I have a so for January I only have a total of three books on my TBR and uh, I might read more I might not but one of them is really long so I wanted to keep myself not overwhelm myself and just kind of read what I'm feeling as well because I'm really bad at sticking with my TBRs for the month. So I just wanted to pick something really easy. So I just wanted to pick a few things that I knew I was interested in reading and then kind of just see where the rest of the month goes. So one of the first books I knew that I had to get to in January is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. And it's such an amazing like dystopian classic. So many people love it. And it's one of those, like, it's on everybody's list of, like, top 100 books that you have to read before you die. And it was something I just knew I had been beating myself about. I have been beating myself up that, over the fact that I have not read this. So I knew I had to pick this up in January. I have started it. I'm only, like, 30 pages in or so. It's super short. Um, it's actually only, like, 150 pages or so. Um, and then this is the 60th anniversary edition, so it's got a lot of, like, extra content. But I am really excited to dive into this. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, not really what I was expecting, but I'm really hoping to get to this. I'm really hoping to finish this in the next couple of days or so. And then one of the other books I, um, knew I had to get in into January is for my book club meeting at the end of the month. We have decided that we're going to go ahead and spend the whole year, um, meaning every couple, every two or three months to go ahead and read the entirety of the Outlander series as far as what's out. I love Out Outlander, the TV show. I am obsessed with it. I have owned the first two books for like two years, I think. I've actually even met Diana and she has signed it. So I knew that this was going to be my main focus for January. This, um, this thing is a chunker. It's like 600 pages I think so it was definitely something I knew I had to get to and spend the most of this is going to be my main priority for January and just spending the whole month reading it and then we're going to go ahead and meet at the end of the month and read it and discuss it and dissect it so I'm really excited to go ahead and start the books because I have been obsessed with a tv show so I'm really excited to spend most of the month of January reading this. I also um, decided that I'd like to get caught up on some backlog arcs that I have, and so I'd like to go ahead and pick up The Tiger's Daughter by Kay Ashlock Riviera. Um, I've had this arc on my shelf for a couple years. I believe it came out, uh, it came out in October 2017, and so I figured it was about time I pick it up and read it. Um, and I know the sequel for this book just came out. I don't know much about it. I know it was blurbed by Victoria Schwab, who I am trash for. I read anything that has her name on it. And so I definitely knew I wanted to pick it up here. It says, the beginning of a new epic fantasy series. A poison spreads across an ancient land and two women are the last hope of survival. Meet Barsala, the infamous Quaggan warrior and Oshuka, a divine empress in waning. A world hangs in the balance. So yeah, that's all I know about it. Um, it's blurbed by Victoria Schwab and Michelle McGuire, who I both love. Um, I've been just itching for a really good epic fantasy like novel or series lately, so I, it's just been super intriguing to me. Um, and I mean, even the blurb on the front, even gods can be slain, is so intriguing. Um, so I'm really excited to hopefully dive into this this month as well. This thing is also a chunker. It is like just under 400 pages it's 493 pages i'm not sure how many pages the actual finished copy is um and this is the arc but i definitely knew i wanted to pick it up this month 
I also have um, four graphic novels that are on the back that are on my backlog as well that I need to go ahead and read and that is Supergirl Volume 4 Plain Sight which is part of the DC Rebirth. This is the most recent volume that is out and so I need to get um, caught up on this one before Volume 5 comes out. I also need to get caught up on Wonder Woman Volume 5, Heart of the Amazon, and Volume 6, which is Children of the Gods. These are the most two recent, these are the two most recent volumes that are out, and I believe there's a Volume 7 that might have just come out, or is coming out soon, that I need to go ahead and get caught up on these two as well. And then I need to also read Revival Volume 4, which is on my December TBR, um, which I didn't get around to, and I need to read it since it's the most recent volume that we have acquired of this before we can go ahead and finish reading, before we before going ahead and picking up the rest of this series. So I'd like to get to um, these four if I can as well. So these are the four books and three novels that I'd like to get to in January. Um, I might read some other things, I might not read this and pick up something else, but this is kind of my main priority. Let me let me know down in the comments below if you have any thoughts, comments, and opinions about any of these, or if you'd like a review on anything. Um, what are you guys reading in January? Do you have anything like on your backlog that you're looking to get caught up on, or anything newly acquired that you're looking to read? As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!